as you drive towards Barmouth along the north bank of the Malvac Estuary, you go through Bonthe and the spectacular views of the water and the mountains are a pleasure to the eye no matter what season of the year. And it's a real privilege to be arriving home to know that you live in such a spectacular setting. About a mile before you get to Barmouth on the left hand side, you come to the small entrance. If you live round here, you might have missed it. And if you don't live round here, you're in for a terrific surprise. I'm Andy Sanderson and this is Ruby and in the next couple of minutes we'll try and give you a quick tour round to give you an appreciation of this property. Now there's no doubt in my own mind that it's the actual view that you can see behind me that's going to attract everybody to look at this property. And believe me, when you get up early and see the sun rising over those mountains, it's absolutely beautiful. But if I can quickly show you around the inside first of all, and then we'll show you a bit more of the gardens and everything afterwards. Now I can easily see that this huge area of driveway provides fantastic parking and turning space for vehicles. It's also quite convenient because you've got the main entrance porch right at the front here. As we come in, the first room here is this kitchen dining room and in here it's still quite homely although it is a little bit dated by modern standards. The kitchen is open plan to the dining area, there's quarry tile flooring and quite a lot of sash windows in the house still as well. There's plenty of space in here to have a table for a family to eat around and whichever of the main rooms you look out of you get this spectacular view right across the estuary towards the mountains of Kader Idris. As we come through to the lounge, there's quite a lot of space in here. Got heating with electric storage heaters, and there's also some radiators, which are um, powered by an electric boiler up from upstairs. In this lounge here, got a sash window, and then sliding doors open up onto the front here, again, with a terrific view. Upstairs it feels quite cottagey, it's got lots of sash windows up here, so some pine doors and there's three bedrooms and the bathroom off this landing. This is the smallest room, still got its original Victorian style door on it. It's got some fitted cupboards and a sash window to the front with the estuary view. The bathroom off the landing is very dated but it's still quite functional and practical. So at the far end of the landing, you've got painted stone walls, a few beams, and this takes you through to the other two main bedrooms. The far bedroom has got this lovely high ceiling with beams in it. Another lovely view to wake up to. And then the central double bedroom, once again, has got the high ceiling and it's got these windows that lead out to the deck at the front. The current arrangement isn't going to suit everybody going out here, but I tell you what, once you're out here, Wow, it's absolutely beautiful. Now we're back outside here, you can see the coach house section is quite significant. And in here, at the moment, there's a big garage sort of workshop space to show you. This is really good storage space in here, plenty of space for a car, all this workshop space over here. Got the original flooring, there's even a horse trough over in the corner here. But up above me here, there's also very interesting mezzanine level as well, sort of crog loft. As you come out the garage here, over on the right, you can see this is the main lawn garden area, and that all fronts onto the estuary as well. Over here, I don't really think I can do this justice on the video. The colour and the view is spectacular. There's some salt marsh lamb uh, just uh, grazing over there. And this here is the dock by the water side. Over further here, we can walk along and this greenhouse, shed and more formal gardens. I've purposely come at low tide. Here you can see one of the slipways. Tide and the wind are driving the water up the estuary now, but I think we've just got a couple of minutes so we can go and have a look at the two islands that are included with this house as well. Go on, Rube, let's go see the islands. Come in. 
so I'm just make it over here. I hope we don't get marooned. This is the first island, the rocky outcrop there. And the other one that we're going to is just over here. I can't tell you how lovely it is out here this afternoon. Oh, this is the most exciting video ever. Now this hut up here, the story goes that a sea captain used to live at the big house next door. And when he used to come back from sea, rather than settle for home comforts, he used to come and stay out in this little stone hut. Let's go and have a look inside. Rube, let's go in there. Look at this Rube, there's a fireplace in here. Windows either side and at the back. And the view really is something else. No wonder he used to sleep out here on good, in good weather. So I hope this tour of Ariane Vrin coach house has been useful to you. It's spectacular here and at the end of this short video there's a link to another short video about the location as well. So if you'd like a video like this for your own property or you'd like to come and meet me up here so I can show you over myself, I'll be, great, I'll be glad to hear from you. I'm Andy Sanderson, this is Ruby. Please ring us on the usual number which is 01341 281 599. Bye-bye for now and thanks very much for watching.